Hi, and welcome at the Shell Eco Marathon 2016. Yesterday, the Green Team 20 arrived at the Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park in London. The Shell Eco Marathon is a race that's all about efficiency. Teams have to drive eight laps, and after each lap, they have to come to a complete halt before continuing the race. The team that sets the best result wins the race. The race will be on Friday and on Saturday, and the days before that, we'll get to know the track, we'll have to pass both technical and safety inspections. After arriving yesterday, today we worked on making the car ready for the technical inspection and also to uh, drive on the track. And that meant that we had to uh, include our fuel cell into the system, make sure everything was correct, then go ask for some hydrogen, which is in this tank right here. Uh, and after showing that our entire system was complete and leak proof and safe, uh, we were allowed to use this gas canister freely. Uh, so now we can go to technical inspection and drive on the track. Behind me are the technical and the safety inspections. These inspections consist out of nine steps which you all have to complete before you're allowed to go on the racetrack. Inspection 1. Weight. Both the car and the drivers are weight. The drivers need to be at least, at least 70 kilograms, so if the driver determines to be less than 70, they they decide how much extra weight you have to put in your car to make the driver 70 kilograms. Inspection 2. Turning radius. In the rules, a certain turning radius is stated. In this, check, in this test, they check if you can reach that turning radius. Inspection 3. Vehicle dimensions. The minimum and the maximum vehicle dimensions are stated in the rules. In this test, they check if you comply to those vehicle dimensions. After waiting in line, we were able to get into the technical inspection. We did the first three technical inspections, of which we succeeded two. Uh, after that, it was six o'clock, so the technical inspection shut down. Tomorrow at eight o'clock, we'll be able to start with the fourth technical inspection and hopefully complete the entire inspections.